Hello, I'm Peter from First Maths, and today we're looking at Year 3 Place Values. Today you will need 10 sheets of A4 paper, each showing one of the digits, 0, 2, 9. 6 cards showing plus 1, minus 1, plus 10, minus 10, plus 100, minus 100. For each group, three dice, cubes of counters, baseboards, one per pupil. Today's mental learning objective. I know what each digit in a three digit number represents. Today's mental learning task. Today's lesson is about the size of numbers. Today we will go up to 999. I need three volunteers. Pause the video until you have them. Give each volunteer a sheet of paper with a large number written on it. What is the biggest number you can make? What is the smallest number? you can make. Repeat this including a zero. Repeat it several times so everyone has a chance to understand the idea. Now we're going to imagine some three digit numbers. Imagine the number 473 in front of you. Which digit is on the left. That's right. It would be the number 4. Which digit is on the right? That's right. It would be the number... Air writing if you like. That's right. It would be the number 3. 3 is on the right. Which digit is in the middle? That's right. It would be the 7. So there'd be a 4 on the left, a 3 on the right, and a 7 in the middle. Imagine the number 570 in front of you. Which digit is on the left? That's right, it would be a 5. Which digit, this is the tricky one, is on the right? That's right, it would be a 0. Which digit is in the middle? That would be the 7 from 70, 7, 10. Imagine this number, 301 was in front of you. Which digit is on the left? 3. Which digit is on the right? 1. And which digit is in the middle? That would be a 0. This is a baseboard. Suppose we had 11 counters. We can put them in any of the three sections. Where shall we put them? I think I will put them here. If you look, I have two hundreds. I have six lots, six tens. And I have three units. So 200 plus 60 plus 3, which makes 263. How about this time? What do I have? I have three hundreds, four tens, which make 40, 
and four units. That would be 344. How else could we arrange them? What would the number be? So, get 11 magnets or crosses on the board, pause the video and see what numbers you and the class can make. Welcome back. What could number could we make with those counters that is close to 500? What's the closest number you could make? Okay, so in the mental learning objective, I know what each digit in a three digit number represents. Here is our main learning objective. I can partition a number into its component hundreds, tens and units. I can use, read and write the vocabulary of comparing and ordering numbers. Today's key idea the position of a digit determines its value. So, the more right it is, the bigger the number. So, for example, if there are three places a number could go, it could go in the be a one in the digit column. It could then be, or it could be a ten in the ten column, or it could be a hundred in the hundred column. Today you're going to be using the baseboards. Sit in groups of four to six. Everyone needs a baseboard. The group shares some cubes. Each group needs three dice. A set of cards numbered between 100 and 999. One pupil takes a number card. This is the target. Another pupil throws three dice. Work out the total of the three dice and say out loud. Take this many cubes. Arrange them on the baseboard. Make a number as close as possible to the target number. Record the number of cubes, target and your answer in your book. If there are several answers, place them into order. Work out which answer is the closest. Here's a challenge for you. With 10 cubes, what is the largest number you can make? What about other numbers of cubes? Try 11, or 12, or 13. Up to 20 cubes. OK, so your main learning objective today was I can partition a number into its component hundreds, tens, and units. I can use and read the vocabulary of comparing and ordering numbers. Okay, at the end of a lesson, here's a plenary. What numbers did you make with your last dice throw? Can you read them out to the class? Which is the largest number? Which is the smallest? If I had 11 cubes, the target number was 200, where would you put them? Pause the video and have a try. Can you count around the class in ones? Watch the screen as every 10 seconds a number will appear. If it is a 10, continue counting numbers, but in tens, etc. One is the start number. Change to yeah. today's key.
key idea. Let's go back. One is a start number. Now change to ten. Add ten. Twenty. Thirty. Add ten, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, a hundred and seventeen, two hundred and seventeen, three hundred and seventeen, four hundred and seventeen, five hundred and seventeen, six hundred and seventeen, minus ten. 607, 597, 598, 599, 590, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Thank you. Today's key idea was the position of a digit determines its value. Did you get it? These are the baseboards. If you want